Howdy, howdy, friends, and welcome back to another Walmart Wednesday. I am super excited about this one because I grabbed over $55 worth of product for an 81 cent cash money maker, and that's including my taxes and everything. So I'm actually making a little bit of money on this stuff. I'm so, so excited. And I hope you guys can score some of these awesome deals as well. Any rebate apps that we use, which Walmart's usually strictly rebate apps, are down in the description box below. Most of them you get bonuses when you um, submit your first receipt. Right now, Shopkick is giving you $5 back, which is awesome. It's normally $2, so if you're new to Shopkick, now's definitely the time to sign up. I also have that free printable list down in the description box for the, below for you as well. Always double check rebates though. They can change at any time. They can vary per account. So just make sure you double check before you go to the store, just so you're not missing out. And so in this video, I did use my points. I know some people use swag books and it was kind of like 50, 50. Some people, once I did try my points, there were a lot of you guys were saying that you really liked my points and that's what you use. My points does have a little bit of a higher conversion rate and sometimes they can vary. Um, cause like on, you'll see in the video, an offer I had was 25 cents on swag books, but it was 75, 80 cents on my points. So just definitely look um, and see what rebates you have and do what works best for you. And I think that's about it for now. We'll see you guys in there. Oh my goodness, guys. I just checked um, because I was like, hold up. I was almost to 6,000 last week. It was like 5,900 something or 5,000. And I was like, let me double check really quick. We did it. We are at 6,037 subscribers. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and coming back and supporting me and sharing my videos with your friends, your family, whatever it may be. I just so, so, so appreciate it. So to um, celebrate hitting that 6,000 mark, which was my year for, which was my goal for the year. And here we are in April and I hit it already. Thanks to all you wonderful people. Let's do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a $25 Walmart E gift card. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, I do check, and make sure you um, drop a comment down below letting me know what your favorite deal was this week at Walmart. Oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so excited. You know what, I feel like we could hit 10,000 this year by the end of the year. What do you think? all right let's kick this off with a if you know you know it's on the rockstar energy drinks they are a dollar 88 you're going to want to grab two that's going to total 376 there is an aisle rebate where you'll get five dollars back when you buy two it's going to make it a 124 money maker the aisle offer goes through the end of this year and it's a um you can do it every other week so I'm definitely grabbing it every time because thank you guys so much for using the link, which I will have linked down in the description box below again for you all. Because every time you use it, I get another $5 back to um, use. So you can do it every other week or when you do it, they send you a text referral code and you can send that out to any of your friends. So if ever they were to use it, you can do it with it before that two weeks um, comes up, if that makes sense. And I would also double check your fetch and see if you have any offers there. I had a 75 cent back when you buy two, that was a limit of three, and I maxed that out last week, so I don't have it anymore, but you guys might have something. Here are a couple razor deals that definitely are not the best in my opinion, but you're gonna get them over 50% off, probably like 75% or something, I don't know. But these Soleil glides that are 692, or these escapes, sorry. These Soleil escapes that are 692, there is a $4 back I bought offer, so it'd make it just 292. And then these Soleil comforts that are 547, there's a $3 back offer on Ibotta, so it would make it just 247 for that. So if you need some hair remover, they have this, these two here that are 398, there's a $2 back offer on Ibotta, so it'd make them just $1.98. And the offer is a limit of five, so you can definitely grab one of each or however many you want up to five for that price. So unfortunately, we no longer have a Shopkick offer on this Dove Prebiotic pre Boost hand soap, but the Ibotta offer did increase by a dollar. They're $4.97. You could submit to Ibotta for $3 back and definitely check your fetch and see what you have. I have 50 cents back on one, so it'd make it just $1.47 with a limit of five. 
Here's an awesome little freebie on the Dove Beauty Bars. They're $5.97. You want to pick up two. That's going to total $11.98. You'll submit to Shopfam for $4 back when you buy two. To Ibotta for $4 back. $2 on each one. And then to Swag Bucks for $4 back. 400 Swag Bucks when you buy two. It's going to make two of them completely free. What I'm going to do is I'm going to submit to my points. It's um, a little bit of a higher point conversion. It's $4.27 back from there. So it'll make it a 29 cent money maker for me. Here's a decent deal on the Olay Indulgent Body Wash at $12.97. You can submit to Ibotta for $4 back and then to Shopkick for 1,515 kicks, which is $6.06. .06. It's gonna make it just $2.91 if you want to try out a new product or if you love Olay. To find the Shopkick conversion rate, take the kicks, divide it by 250. That gives you your dollar amount. So I found a few of these soap and glories that are in the clearance section. They're not marked though. I did scan them in the app, a Walmart app, and it showed $7, but sometimes I know my Walmart app isn't always up to date with the clearance. Um, there's a $4 back offer on Ibotta and it is a limit of three. So I definitely think I'm gonna price check these just to double check. But even if, even if they are $7, it would make them just $3 after the Ibotta rebate. So I definitely think I'm gonna pick this one up this week because of the double attaching rebate on Ibotta because I am working towards a midweek moneymaker bonus and that big April bonus. So I think I'm gonna pick it up. So you can grab one of the Old Spice Total Body Deodorants. So you can either grab the spray, the cream, or the stick. You'll get two different $4 back rebates on Ibotta. So a total of $8 there. And Shopkick, um, a total of 860 kicks between buy and scan, which is $3.44. It'll make it just $1.53. And on Shopkick, there are three separate offers. So just pick whichever one you're gonna do. There's one for the spray, a different one for the cream, and a different one for the stick. I think I'm gonna go with the spray. Seems the most sanitary. <laughs> Not the best deal on Shea Moisture either, but I did want to bring it up because it's a new Ibotta rebate that popped up. It's $9.97 for the deodorant. Ibotta has a $4 back offer and Shopium has a $3 back offer, so it'd make it just $2.97. The offer on Shopium was one you would have had to clip prior. It is no longer on the homepage. It was in my activated offers. I do have a video linked down below that shows, um, gives you a little bit of some Shopium tips and how to make see if you have the offers in your saved offers, even though they're not on your homepage anymore. So another deal you can check in your list on Shopium is on the Dove Whole Body Deodorant. They're $11.98. On Shopium, in my saved offers, I have a $5 back. Um, if you scan it in just the normal homepage app, there is a $4 back one. But again, do the little trick to see if you have it, or you can go and verify offers and see if you have a $5 back one. So when you go to submit, if you have that one, that's the offer you will pick. So $5 back from there, $5 back from Ibotta and then to Shopkick. This is no longer like on the homepage, but when I go to receipts, that shows all the offers you can verify for or you can submit for because you just click it and then that's what you submit your receipt for. There's a um, 150 point on the um, whole body deodorant, which is 60 cents. So it'd make one just $1.37. These Dove like sweat and odor protection deodorants are $3.98. You can submit to Shopkick for 710 kicks between buy and scan, which is $2.84. It's gonna make it just $1.14. Here's a couple deals on some kids toothbrushes. You can pick up one of these battery Colgate ones at $4.98. Submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back. And then to Shopkick for 555 kicks between buy and scan, which is $2.00 and 22 cents, it's gonna make it just $1.26. There are these two packs of the manual toothbrushes. They are $3.96, submit to Shopkick for the, there's a separate offer for the manual toothbrushes, 555 kicks, which is $2.22, so it'd make that just $1.74. Here's an awesome deal on some palm olive dish soap. They are $2.68, you can submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back, to Shopkick for 250 kicks, which is $1, and then I'm going to submit to my points because my swag bucks is only for 25 cents, but my my points is for 128 points, which is 80 cents. So it'll make it just 13 cents using my points, but definitely check your swag bucks too. Sometimes offers can vary for account. So you might have 75 cents back there. So just submit to whatever app you prefer to find the my points conversion. Take the amount of the points, divide it by 159. 
and that gives you the dollar amount. So we have an awesome dog food deal coming up. So the Purina Beneful and Credit Bites, the 3.5 pound bag is $5.98. Submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back. And then to Shopkick for 810 kicks between the buy and the scan, it's $3.24. So it's gonna make that bag just $1.99. And then for the next part of this deal, you can grab one of the Beneful and Credibites little pate things. They're on rollback for 106. You'll submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back and check if you have this 10 cent any wet dog food, which is awesome because that's gonna count as two offers towards the bonus. And then to shop kick for 105 kicks between buy and scan, which is 42 cents. So it's gonna make it just four cents. I totally forgot to mention this deal last week. It was in my breakdown in my free printable list down in the description box below. So if you seen that, um, yeah, you got a good deal. Or if you follow me on like TikTok, cause then I posted it there with the next day because it got even better because of a checkout 51 offer. So I'm gonna go over it for, with you guys. You can pick up two of these farmland bacons for $4.98. That is going to total $9.96. On Swagbucks, there's a $5 back when you buy two. And check out 51, you'll get $3.24 back, $1.62 on each one. That does say few left, so definitely double check because that one is gonna disappear pretty quickly. Um, it's gonna make the final cost $1.72 or just 86 cents each. I'm gonna submit to my points since I'm already submitting to my points for some of my other stuff. And again, the conver conversion rate there is a lot higher. So I'm gonna get $5.34 back from my points instead. So it's gonna make them just 69 cents each for me. You can grab one of these two pound bags of the Golden Star Jasmine Rice at 317. Submit to Shop Me for 50 cents back. And then I bought it for $1.50 back. It's gonna make it just $1.17 for a bag. Here's a pretty awesome deal on these Skinny Girl Preserves. They're $2.97, you wanna grab two, that's gonna total $5.94. Submit two swag bucks for $3 back when you buy two to check out 51 for $1.50, 75 cents on each one. It's gonna make it $1.44 for the two or just 72 cents each. And you can grab up to four. I'm actually gonna do my points again, just because like I said, I'm already submitting there. So I'm just gonna keep it easy and do everything on one um, to one app or yeah. So it's 510 points, so that's $3.20, so it would make it just 62 cents each if you submit to my points. All right, here's everything I plan on grabbing today. I am gonna do these rock stars in three separate transactions because the offer is only a limit of one per receipt. So I do have my midweek money maker of $5 for 18 offers, and I do have some that I did already in the, earlier this week, so I only need 11 offers to get that $5. And I'm exactly at 11 offers right now. So I'm planning on getting that back. I'm going to check out. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. As usual, checkout is always super easy at Walmart. You just scan your products and then you just take a few minutes to submit all your receipts to the rebate apps. Always make sure you're doing that sooner rather than later though, because sometimes these rebates can change. I always do recommend screenshotting the offers too, especially for Shopkick, just in case they change the kicks on you because sometimes they can do that. So usually they're pretty good about um like fixing it once you submit a ticket and send the screenshot as well showing like hey this is what the offer was when i was in store when i checked out this is what i got credited for um so 55 dollars and 35 cents worth of product i'm getting back 60 dollars and 60 cents in cash rebates from shop Meum, i'm getting nine dollars back from Ibotta, I'm getting $20.60 back plus my $5 midweek money baker bonus. I'm so excited. I have not hit that in so long. And I am about over halfway to my April bonus. $25 for 64 offers and I have 38 right now. So I'm so stoked that I think I'm going to actually hit that one. Um, multiple rebates counting towards the offer definitely helps. So if I'm buying like two of one product or sometimes they're up to five, right? If I'm buying five of a product, that counts as five rebates towards an item. So um, a couple, of, I grabbed multiples of a couple items, so that helped out a lot. From Shopkick, 2,700 points plus my 30 in-store can't scan kicks, so that equals ten dollars and ninety-two cents. From my points, 808 points, which is five dollars and eight cents. And then the rock star, the gift that keeps on giving, ten bucks. So that puts this haul at a $5.25 moneymaker, but I do cash cost budgeting. So I pay, um, swiped my card for $59.79 after taxes. 
but I'm getting back $60.60 in cash. So this is actually an 81 cent moneymaker cash cost for me, which is so exciting. So my points I did um, also no notice that they did lower a little bit of their redemptions before the lowest was 25 to PayPal, $25. So now it's, they have a $10 option. So that's good. Um, having that lower $10 option. That's why I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to use my points because having to wait for a hit to hit 25. Swag bucks was, um, five, was low as $5. So with my points having that $10 one and depending on which rebates are, I definitely might start using my points a little bit more. Any questions about any of those rebate apps, definitely drop me a comment and let me know. So I did my grocery budget one as well because I'm separating those two from my everyday couponing household budget and then my grocery budget. So on that one, I swiped my card for $22.83, but I'm getting back $20.29 in cash. So from shop me and 50 cents for my bada, a dollar 50 from my points, um, 1360 points, which is $8 and 55 cents from checkout 51, $4.74 and then rockstar $5. So that is just a $2.54 cash cost that's coming out of my grocery budget. And again, for bacon, like two packs of bacon, we love BLTs. Like those are one of the easiest meals to make on our oh so busy nights. <laughs> so if you guys have any awesome bacon recipes that you love to do, let me know. I think that's about it for now. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.